Hey guys, what's going on? Jamie here. Just wanted to do a quick update for Avaris. Um, you can see here that the lobby just ended. Well, it didn't just end. It ended about two hours ago, my time. And uh, the lobby ended at 315 BNB. So uh, still a strong day. Um, you can see here 381, 306, uh, 30, uh, 30, 315, and already 32 BNB for the next day's lobby. So um, yeah, still uh, good times to get in in the lobby here and get Everest tokens on the low. You can see here for one BNB today, if you had put in one BNB, BNB you would have gotten 8,000. 260 Averis tokens. Um, I put in one BNB, I was actually watching it here, um, but I put one BNB. Let me collect these so I can stake them. And then I'm gonna show you here my stake that just matured because essentially every single day now I have stake maturing. Some stakes bigger than others, some dividends are bigger than others, but it's, uh, you know, it's pretty much every day from here on moving forward, uh, we're gonna be collecting BNB here. So. Uh, let me just go ahead and make sure this confirms, and then we'll head on over to the staking. But yeah, this is um this is uh, still going strong. I know they uh, had announced, and I did a video on the fact that they were opening up a BUSD lobby. That's not going to happen for another probably, I would say, week and a half, two weeks, uh, give or take. They're saying a week, but you know, with crypto, you know, there's always something that's going on, and they got to retest things and make sure it's running properly. So I would say about a week and a half maybe even two weeks. So in the meanwhile, you can stack, you know, Averis, the original ABC tokens right here and stake them and get BNB, you know, because right now is a great time to be stacking BNB while the market is kind of struggling still. BNB, the price of BNB is down. It's like at 200 bucks and change. You can be stacking BNB. And then if we get into another bull run down the road and BNB starts approaching all-time highs again, 700 and change, you know, what would that be like if you stacked up a ton of it right now? So let me see here. It's over here. I got it in my wallet here. Let me head on over, head on over to the staking side. Um, and you can see here, I had, I just had this one complete uh, right now. Uh, this is going to be, you know, this is a chunky one right here. So I'm going to collect my 8.721 BNB. This right here, these amount of tokens go back into my wallet. And then I can stake them, I can restake them and collect BNB. As you guys remember, if you've been following my journey with this, this uh this amount right here got me 120 BNB. And then I just essentially took that 120 BNB and then restaked the Averis tokens. And within six days, you can see here it's a six-day stake. I got another 8.721. Then I'm just gonna restake it again, right? So let me collect this right here. Um, and then essentially it's just wash, rinse, repeat. You know, you just, uh, you know, every stake that you have, when it matures, you collect the BNB, then you restake the Averis tokens and you just wash, rinse, repeat. Of course, if you're not getting new tokens in the lobby, you know, eventually the, uh, you know, you're gonna have, you're gonna experience dilution and the the divs that you're getting on the, on the uh, tokens won't be as high, but as long as you're going into the lobby still and getting quote unquote new tokens, you can continue to restake your old tokens, you know, stake your new tokens, obviously. And you'll be able to keep up with, um, you know, with the dilution. So we refresh this, just to make sure everything is, you know, good to go here. Um, okay, so I collected that. And then you can see here, I have 196,736 tokens um, that I can stake right here. So let me go ahead and stake that. 196,736, stake that for a week, right? Six days to be exact. And get another, you know, eight to 10 BNB. So essentially this, this stake right here, this just this, this um, if I just keep, you know, restaking this every single week, it's just gonna give me eight to 10 BNB every single week on these tokens, give or take, right? Um, you know, again, of course, there's going to be some dilution there over time. You guys get what I'm saying, right? You can just restake, get eight to ten BNB. That stake matures. Um, I take the BNB, I restake again, get another eight to ten BNB, restake again, wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat. That's all all I'm doing here. Um. So yeah, that is uh. Let me see it. Boom. So it, it staked. Let's see here. Let me refresh. 
All right. So you can see here it's going to start soon. So that was that was day 28, right? Completed on day 28. So tomorrow, which is day 29, let's see, I have this one coming, you know, that, that'll probably be just under one B and B, but I also have this one here for 29. So I have two 29s ending tomorrow. Uh, no, I think I have three. Yeah, three. This is one. So probably be just under one B and B. This is another one. This will probably be just under half a B and B. And I have this one here at 29, which is 3.3 B. It's probably going to be like about three and a half B and B, give or take. So I have three uh, stakes ending tomorrow. And then from there, um, you know, I go to day 30 right here. Uh, day 30 is about two B and B. By the time that happens, it'll probably be maybe two and a quarter, give or take. But I also have another one here. This is going to be a small one right here. 30. Um, and I have 30. These are newer ones. These are smaller here. But you see if I have any 30 or 30 ones down here. Yeah. So here's 30 right here. Here's 31. Uh, two B and B. Here's 32. 2.34 already. Um, I got two 32s up here. 0 0.743, 0 0.40, right? Here's a 30, 33. Let me, let me scroll down here because my chunkier ones are down here. Here's day 33. This is my 30 day stake. That'll be at around 12, maybe 12 and a half BNB by the time I unstake it. On day 34, I already have 15.4 BNB right here. That's probably going to be about 16 BNB. Day 35 is already 15. Day 36, 8. This, this is probably going to be around 15 BNB. This will probably be around 10 BNB. And then you can see it's just, it's just wash rinse repeat. Because every time I, I take these BNB dividends, I just take the Averis tokens that are being released again and restake them. Do you see? Do you see the, do you, do you, do you get the, uh, the big picture here? Do you follow how this thing is just printing PNB? Um, so this is a, this is going to be a big BNB printer right here, you know? Um, yeah, it's just doing its thing. <laughs> It is just doing its thing. And then in two weeks time, right, we're going to have the BUSD lobby. Uh, you know, we're going to be able to go in there. That one's going to have the lending protocol. The lending protocol is going to be working on that side. So we can go over there and we'll have yeah, a BNB printer. We'll have a BUSD printer. You know, Averis, you know, the team over at Averis, they want this to be a long term play. And maybe down the road, maybe even go multi-chain. That's what they're talking about. But you know, right now, this BNB right here, this BNB side is killing it right now. The BUST side, I'm sure is gonna it's gonna kill it also. So you're gonna have two sides. You can choose from either the BNB or the BUSD. By the way, the BUSD lobby, a portion of that is gonna go back to in, into buybacks for the BNB. It's gonna feed the BNB side. So it's it's you know, it's gonna be synergistic. It's not like one side competing against the other side. It's going to be the BUSD side. It's going to be feeding into the BNB side. And it's just going to be raining divs. It's going to be raining divs. It's going to be pretty awesome. So yeah, if you want to check this out, um, I will leave a link down below. Always use a link when you go into the lobby because um, you'll get a 1% kickback. It's still good days, as you can see here. It's a good opportunity right now. I mean, this is obviously the last three days are pretty high considering the last uh, the, the one, two, three, four days prior to that. Um, but again, we'll see where this ends up. These are still good days to get in because um, once those buybacks start to kick in from the BUSD lobby, it's going to be, you know, the, we'll see some bigger deposits here. Um, so that being said, guys, um, are you going to get into the lobby? What do you think? Might be a good opportunity. I don't know. I'm not a financial advisor. Definitely not giving you financial advice. Do your own research, do your own due diligence. Everything is risky out here in the crypto space. So again, if you're going to get in, only put in what you can afford to lose. Um, but yeah, you can see how I am leveraging this platform to make BNB rain into my, <laughs> into my wallet. <laughs> anyway, guys, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you had a great day. I will catch you tomorrow with another update. So stay tuned for that. Follow me on Telegram, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the little bell icon and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.